Hi, welcome to another adventure. I'm Victoria Rose. I am now, I was in Phoenix for, it's very windy here. I was in Phoenix for a second, but I didn't like it. Sorry, my experience in it, I didn't really like it, but maybe I just wasn't in the right spot. But so I left quite quickly and I'm heading north up to Sedona, which I heard from so many people that is such a gorgeous area. As I say in every video, this is a 1998, 270,000 mile plus Jeep that has a very bad shock. And you know, I have to be careful with it because it's also my home. I don't want to be reckless, but I do want to find the hot springs if I can find some. But today I just wanted to show you a nice little night outside, a little outside of Sedona. And I just found a free camp spot as usual. All the camp spots that I usually stay at, well, all of them really are free. In the West, you're able to do that a lot more and it's so private and quiet and the views, the views. some vegetable skewers. We're gonna have a campfire. We'll have some baked tortillas. We're gonna make s'mores and then we'll, we'll get on this adventure. I got these Max Mallow. I, I wanted the s'mores to be a little healthier. These are very expensive, but apparently they have collagen and MCT oil and they just seemed like a better option with zero sugar, so I don't know. But I could not find an alternative to, you know, classic graham crackers, so we just, we went with that. Got some skewers work it all out today. You know, I don't normally do any type of cooking or whatever, but today is a nice chill day where we have time to just kind of... morning it's cold and I'm quite nervous because the destination we're trying to head upwards because last night was quite cold going even more north is gonna be even colder it's so beautiful it's so windy though it's very windy but look at this it's gorgeous all right, so I kind of gave up on the hot spring idea for this video because we're gonna have to get more into Utah to find the good hot springs because there's not a lot in uh, Northern Arizona. But I did find the Grand Canyon. So this is the Grand Canyon. And surprisingly, they have a section here where there's no fence. So you can just kind of fall off into the canyon. But if you've never been, here you go, this is it. I mean, it's way different in person, but it doesn't even look real either way, so it's massive. that the Grand Canyon would be a lot like Machu Picchu or Yosemite or something where it's like so many people and so many restrictions. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised that 
you're able to kind of find areas where there's not like tons and tons of people and you're also not fenced in. So I find that nice. I was hesitant to come here because you guys know I don't like coming to touristy places. But also the line to get in wasn't so bad either. I think only because this is a Monday and it's not like peak tourist season. So that's my experience with the Grand Canyon. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I am now on a Native American reservation, the Navajo. Yeah, it's very different. We're gonna stop at this trading post and I really, really wanna get like uh, some handmade jewelry or something. We're on our way to Mon Monument Valley in Utah. So we're gonna cross into Utah today, which is about an hour and a half from here. Last night I stood, stayed here at a hotel. And we're gonna move on. Um, we've been getting more motels lately just because it's been quite cold. I'm gonna stay in a cabin tonight as well in Monument Valley because there's one that has like really good views and I'll show that to you guys. But I'm gonna get back to um, camping whenever it warms up just a little bit. So I'm using all my motel credits up, but I think whenever it comes more summertime, I'm gonna be really hot and sleeping outside all the time. All right, so I didn't really wanna go in and film things because I don't know like the rules in filming and reservations and also like I don't wanna be disrespectful. I went in and got this cute little hair thing. I'll put in my hair. There's so many stray dogs around here that I wanna, I wanna take all of them. So, making a quick stop, and I found this in the gas station, which I've never had this before. It's chamoy flavored. And I don't think I've ever even had chamoy. So it's chamoy dill. So I thought that it'd be appropriate to try one of these things. Hmm. Wow. Very strong tasting. Ooh, that's sour. Anyways, let's carry on. So let me show you this cabin that is right near Monument Valley. Look at that. Just walk out. That is crazy. It was the drive in here was beautiful as well. Like beauty just everywhere. This place is so cool. And there's a cat here. So this is Monument Valley and you can drive through it. The road is really, really rough. About eight dollars per person to get in. It's absolutely gorgeous, like incredible, like all the rock structures. But you definitely cannot drive this scenic route without like a good four by four. This is amazing. It is actually raining today, which is very somber. Today's a driving day anyways, and I'm struggling to figure out what this video is actually about because basically this week I've just been visiting a lot of like touristy places. I wouldn't even call it, it's not really touristy, it's just like a lot of like kind of looking and observing and just, you know, seeing. And um, it's not my usual method of exploring the desert and stuff, but might as well see this stuff. I'm gonna try to go to Zion as well. And these are like national parks and things like that. So I got a park pass, really handy to have if you're gonna visit a lot of national parks. It doesn't work here. For Monument Valley, as I said, you have to pay $8 to get in, but that's because it's on Native American land. And I've been here in on the reservation for a couple days now. I do have a mission of trying to find like a a necklace or some sort of piece of jewelry. I, I have this little hair thing, but I want something that's like, that I can wear every day. This cat is literally the cutest, most loving cat. Like it even lets you pick it up and everything. And it just came running whenever I called it. The owner said it says that it likes to stay with the guests, 
So it sleeps in the bed. <laughs> Amazing cat, aren't you, kitty kitty? Here you go. So that was really, really nice. We're gonna try and get to the halfway point between here and Zion. There's a lot of driving because this is all canyon land. So there's just canyons everywhere and there's only a few, a couple different roads that you can take to get around. So we had to go back down through the Navajo reservation and then go back up over and then, the original idea was to try and find hot springs, but didn't realize that there aren't really a lot of hot springs around this area. It's, like it's astounding to be able to see this stuff. It does not, it, none of it looks real. It's amazing, especially if you're really into like the Western movies and stuff like that, which I grew up watching. Take a bite of the kitty cat. One thing is that Yuki is having some sounds and things, which is very concerning. Um, when I start her up, I think it's something to do with the exhaust system. Maybe the muffler, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but she's getting shaky and it's getting worse every time I start her. I mean, she keeps running, but... I mean, that one wasn't so bad. So I'm at the place where they shot the ending of the running scene for Forrest Gump. Only day that we came that it could possibly be foggy in the desert is today and rainy and freezing. So you can't even really see the mountains in the background, but this is the place where he's like, what do you say? He said, I think I'm gonna go home now. Still very cool. morning I am in I think Utah still I keep going in and out of Arizona and Utah but I found this really nice free dispersed camping site it's so beautiful out here there's just so much land out here so many canyons it is absolutely stunning <laughs> So the problems that Yuki was having uh, like a few days ago is that there is like lint stuff coming out of the muffler as well as uh, like um, shards of metal or something like it looked like glitter. So it's probably something to do with the Cadillac converter or the muffler. Because when I started up now it goes and it's something to do with the exhaust anyways. So now with this check engine light, I don't know what it could be, but I really hope it's nothing serious because, you know, I'm out here. And last year at this time, this was around the area where my radiator went out. This is pretty, pretty drive. I'm, I'm gonna stop in Cedar City and get a motel for the night because it's Sunday again. And yeah, I need to make sure I'm in a city so I can take this in. I made it to this hotel. And tomorrow, I need to take it into AutoZone and check the code. My guess is the Cadillac converter, which I really cannot afford to fix at a mechanics because they're gonna charge me like over a grand for sure. And I, I can't spend that much, probably in like 15, 1600, because you had to replace the Cadillac converter. And it would be really nice if it was just like a, the muffler needs replaced, but it's, 
I doubt that that's it because I don't think the check engine light would come on for that. I don't really know what to do. Because if I was to get my own part, it would take forever to arrive here. I'm in random Cedar City. I've done so much driving in the Jeep, like something was bound to happen. I didn't think it would be the exhaust though because it was fine when I left. I had just got inspected and emissions and everything, so. She is driving poorly. Like you can hear. I cannot accelerate fast. I shouldn't be driving her, but um, I have to drive to a coffee shop to look up mechanics around here because let's check out of my hotel. So I'm pretty certain it's the Cadillac converter, but maybe it's other things too. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so bummed. But this morning starting up, it was like, like it wouldn't, she wouldn't, she did not want to start. And that is the first time it's, she's, been that bad so I'm I'm just very concerned out here one step at a time it doesn't help either the sun's just not out and it's cold come on Yuki please please don't be an astronomical mouth honey okay so my check engine light went off I mean it's still I know it's not running right but the check engine lights off. Got the readings and it's to do with like the manifold and stuff like that. But now uh, I found a garage that would actually get it in to replace the Cadillac converter. But now, nothing. It won't even try to start. Like it's never, obviously never done this. Like it's, it won't even turn over at all. It's not the battery. <sighs> Okay, so we got it started. Um, the guy at AutoZone said to smack the starter with something. It actually started, so it needs a new starter as well. <sighs> wow, Yuki, you're really stressing me out right now. So, that was amazing. We found a garage that gave us a reasonable, reasonable price and replaced the Cadillac converter like in less than an hour and then recommended us to the next place to replace the starter, which in a way it's kind of good that they both went out at the same time weirdly because we I mean, just get this all done in, in Cedar City. Um, but it was like a family owned business and this is well, another like, part of their family that does the starter. So hopefully this isn't too expensive but can't really, every time we started up now we had to bang on the starter to make it start. So can't really continue on like that. But I'm so grateful to have found a garage that was honest and affordable. Here we go. Let's see this starts for the first time, for the first time since I've had this. That is, the, that is so cool really. <laughs> Was very speedy as well. And that only ended up costing 280 to replace the starter and the labor. And then replacing the Cadillac converter with the part and the labor was 425, which is very cheap if you know if you know how much Cadillac converters are. And the place we went to, so fast. Um, this is a very rare stroke of luck for mechanical work in a in a pinch, because we got this all done in one day as well, which is insane. Because you know how I've had issues with you know all this stuff. So we still have some daytime. It's not even three o'clock yet. I mean, it's still like eight hundred dollars. I did not expect to spend, which is a bummer. But those things needed fixed. out here in the coral pink sand dunes in Utah and I'm filming for this brand that I'm doing a sponsorship with it's a speaker brand but I I decided to go with like an alien Western type of theme right but these are the these are the sand dunes out here 
but not as pink as you would think. Very beautiful out here. And this is right on the way to Zion, which is where I'm heading next. We just breathe. We made it to the camp spot for the night in Virgin, which is somewhere I've been last year. I broke down here, <laughs> but it was one of the most amazing views that I've seen. I decided not to go up in the canyons because it's still quite cold here in Utah and um, I didn't want to risk anything. So we're gonna just camp down here on the base. But it has been a day. I cannot believe that I have a brand new Cadillac converter and a brand new starter like that. Well, it wasn't like that, but in one day. The starter's been going out the whole time of had her. The amount that I've invested into her is a lot. I don't really have a choice. She's my home. But for now, I just want to breathe a little bit. Mm -hmm. 